episode number 6 in the adventures of Dr. Clumber playing Transport Fever 2. Good day everybody. Lovely to see you back at Transport Fever 2. Um, yeah, so in the last episode we tidied up and built a train the size of Jupiter. Uh, where is it? Oh yes. Oh, look at the beauty, a flying Scotsman. Oh yes, this is the ticket. So, uh, a multi-purpose train that is picking up uh, construction materials here and quarry stuff here on the way to the construction materials and then drops it all off at the newly announced cargo hub at Daventer Cargo Station, not the hub. Um, yeah, tidied up the lines and things, all really good, but... but, but, but we are not done yet. Um, there's a number of things that I want to concentrate on before building the next uh, extension to our network. Um, and I will talk a bit about what I am planning in terms of the extension. So we've got Heerlen here, which is an ideal uh, city by the looks of things. And we've got Sandstad. And I think that will make a very nice new addition to our passenger uh, infrastructure from Deventer. Deventer is definitely going to be uh, acting as a hub for us in this part of the world. Um, so that's one thing that we're going to be looking at, but not this particular episode. Because this episode I would like to um, oh, switch that sound, the sound off from the other system. In this episode I would like to look at the efficiency of the system. Because it's not quite there yet. It's not quite there yet. So We've got the tools factory and these tools are being picked up by a truck that then takes them into um, here Hugelbaat. And the first thing I noticed is that this station is overloaded and I don't want it to be overloaded. So we are going to do some work here. We sort of installed this um, in a whim, but I also want this to start picking up construction materials. So we need extra platform. Do I build it there? Let me just see. Can I access the street? If I don't build that there, I might be able to actually. If I don't do that, can I then? Uh, only on that side. I don't know why I can't build it on that side. It, would I be able to build it if I had a platform? Obviously not now, yes, okay, good. So, we are actually going to spend quite a bit of money extending this to the maximum capacity because we made the decision, I think I discussed it in the last episode, if you don't know, this asynchronous recording is a bit difficult, um, but we made the decision that the trucks were going to supply here in Gobaat, and this is now the cargo station for here in Gobaat. So there's no need in doing anything other than what we're doing. Oh, oh, what that literally inches, inches. Uh, mm -hmm. A bit of fiddling, but it'll be worth it at some point. Uh, like that, like that. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful little roundabout, and now it's no longer a roundabout and it's a dreadful looking road. Do not worry, I am aware that I'm not building the prettiest infrastructure. Come on! Collision with what? With what? <sighs> Let's get rid of all the. Uh, didn't, I didn't. I'm not allowed to swear on YouTube anymore. Ow! Is that it? Is that the only place I can do this from? <sighs> you know what this is? This is frustrating. Smooth. Do want smooth? Flatten. Raise. Flatten. Big brush. Flatten the Latin. Good, good, good. This road is up anyway, so why not just do that? Yeah. And smooth it. No, not that aggressively. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, uh, 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 that probably cost me a lot more. I didn't look 
on purpose and how much that cost me. Um, I wasn't interested. You have to be... Why is it collisioning with the road there? Have I just missed that earlier? Should I have just done that? And now that... And now... Oh look, no collision. Game, you do like trolling me at times. You do like trolling me. Um, right. Oh yeah, but that was entirely your own fault. Yes, yes, yes. Good. We don't technically need this, but this will make it a bit easier for our trucks to come in and out, right? Um, and we've got the bricks here already, which is great. But do I want them on the same platform? I do not. So I learned the other day, actually this is a neat little trick, you'll be impressed at this. With a station you can't have a double connection, but, aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, you see? And then we could change one to one and the other go to the other. Do I need two lines then? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay. Um, well, this is exciting, isn't it? I bet you're really happy and delighted that you have hopped onto this wonderful episode of Dr. Plumber Plays Trucks. It's doing a really weird rooty thing here. I don't know why it doesn't just come out here. Ah, I don't care. Right, we're going to create a new line which is doing exactly the same. But is going to pick up trucks. So this, the other one is the Herugelwaard tool truck, and this is going to be the Herugelwaard. Uh, uh, big truck. Yeah. Good. And then we can say that in Herugelwaard annex, it picks up bricks. Yes. Okay. So we need to make sure. It doesn't pick up anything else, only bricks. And then this one, only steel tools. Is it tools? I think it is tools. Yeah, that's it. Good, it can unload whatever it likes, I don't mind that. But it only picks up bricks and steel. So theoretically, when I now build a little truck in addition to what I've already got. You guys are going to be the big truck and that should separate out uh, that should separate out ah okay it'll take some time okay who cares um right so that is step one right we're gonna keep an eye on this because we might well need more trucks to pick all this up efficiently. I still don't understand why they go out on that top road there, but if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. The other thing that isn't efficient at all, and we sort of know this anyway, is the pickup of trees. We're not picking up enough trees to provide enough that train. Uh, I need to keep an eye on as well. Because that's picking up bricks to take back to Herugelaat. Yeah, 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 okay. Um, I need to keep an eye on that. But the this here... Oh, actually now it's produced 80. The other uh, run when I checked before recording, it didn't have enough um, saw planked, uh, planks there for the uh, train to fill up. We're going to see. No, it might not have again. Let's have a look. 96. Yeah, it's not. It's using 80 at the time. So we need to pick up more wood. Um, and actually we can pick up a lot more wood. And we are going to... Are we going to keep this the way it is? How long is it at the moment? Does it fit in the station with ease? I think it probably does. Yeah, we can almost double the length of that. Okay. It's not old enough for me to go, oh, I'm going to retire this train. Um, but if I do, 
I can use the faster wagons and I could use a crocodile. That's going to eat away my profit margins a bit, but the crocodile will be able to pull a hell of a lot more than anything else. Seems a bit of a waste on such a short line. I think we'll do this. And we'll do this. So it's, it had 20. So it needs at least 10. We're at 6. I can't count. 8, 10. And we're going to add... one sixty. Yeah, replace. Click. It's done. Right, so we've got a new shiny train uh, in the running so you can see it's already carrying more than it did yes and now here should produce more and because it's quicker as well it should increase production quite a lot actually so this train the tool supply train can then pick up more goods one seventy two yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Okay, click. And then um, our new train is doing quite well, actually. I think that worked out reasonably well. A beautiful uh, flying Scotsman doesn't need a lot more. But the thing that we need, need, need to worry about as well is the passenger situation. Because actually, we aren't keeping on top anymore. Uh, so the passenger train is coming in. And there's 102 waiting to go the other way. So that's not optimal. Um, there's two ways of looking at this. One is to make this train bigger, which you know it can easily have another couple of cars on. The other way of doing it is to uh, introduce a separate train to Kerkrade. And I think we'll do that. So we are gonna leave it to run what it needs to run now. But we are introducing a new passenger line and we are going to call that uh, we are going to call that the uh, what did we call the first one boomel it will really become a boomel this is going to be uh, boomel tje tje for those wondering and not capable of the mighty dutch language is little boomel so boomel is um, you know doing its own thing Correct, excellent. And then we're going to introduce Boemeltje. So we can remove Kerkrade from the stations. Like that. And we've already, in that time, I know I'm running it on fast speed, but in that time, despite spending loads on new trains, we've still made a huge profit <sighs> well I'm gonna not pay off my loan yet because I want to buy a new uh, train which is gonna be smaller than this one and actually this this runs risk of not being profitable at all to be honest um, but we are gonna invest in it I just had an idea just had an idea. Manage vehicle, edit vehicle. You go there. <laughs> Either the Flying Scotsman or the A35. These passenger wagons still limited to a hundred. Um, so I'm going to put an A35 in for the bubble Yes. I'm going to do it like that. I think so. We'll see if this makes a major difference, actually. So, 5 million going out good oh this is now in bad condition i hadn't realized that that's a bit annoying uh, but you're going to be on boomeltje 
I don't know where the new train and the old train are going to come from, but we'll see. Oh, it's in the depot, excellent. Um, this is in bad condition, which is slightly annoying. If I'd realized, I probably would have um, put on a different logo. But we're going to put up the maintenance costs a bit. Again, this line is now not going to make as much money, but it's going to be more efficient uh, picking up the passengers. Especially when we start adding in healer, which is what we want to do as well in terms of passengers. So, yeah. Let's have a look actually in this episode. We might actually get around to it. Um, those were the little quality of life improvements I wanted to make. So let's see what the best way is to connect here. And I think it's just a straight up to David thing. Um, because there's now a tunnel, so all we have to do is go underground, join up in the tunnel, and come out here. Have I doubled that up yet? We are going to... Oh, we don't even need to demolish houses. Good. That's step one. Then it comes out. It goes in again, yes. That's step two. And then I want to turn along to follow this road. And that will be step three. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Brilliant. Couldn't be better. It's too slow though. That's a shame. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, that's annoying. I could have replaced Bumblebee with that because 20 is actually. Uh, so that's a 20. Ah, that's my favorite train, class A4. The rotor file is a 20 capacity uh, passenger up and down. Is legit a boobeltje. It's literally meant to be local passenger transports for that way. Um, but yeah, we made the decision we made, so it's not gonna happen. We're gonna run a bit slower. I don't know why I'm running on fast again. No apparent reason. I need to decide where I want this station. Now, the criminally insane would demolish this. And you can tell from the silence that I am contemplating it. I want this to connect to Sandstop though. Oh, and we'll want. And weer. Now we want weer Sandstop. Yeah. Okay. Um, Once we can do that way, so it's not we can do that way. Yeah, it needs to be in this bit here, I think. It's going to be a bit tricky to get out of that, with that hill in the way. Mmm, coffee! My favourite mug. It's a bit. I've been using it all morning, but uh, I'm a librarian. What's your superpower? Good librarians of awesome. And if you don't agree, then you're watching the wrong channel. I'm very much into mines because this will be quite costly, but I'm making a lot of money. Uh, yeah, 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 that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. Um, Prepare for the future a bit, make this a bit bigger. Oh, will it still fit now? Yeah, it still fits. Stop building new roads when I'm demolishing them. I'm demolishing them for a reason. Um, yeah, I don't need to make it high speed because we do that manually. Good, so we need to do the looking around the microphone thing to put this station in. I wish I could choose. There's a mod that lets you choose what size uh, station building you get. Because I don't really want the little one, I want the big one. So I now have to manually 
Can I save that particular flat though, if I do small? Yes. Is that word saving? Yes. Is it? Yeah, okay, do. Doen we zo. En zo, dat nou is Heerlen Station. I like it, I like it a lot. We can actually build another connection here, so we're going to do that straight away. Because, what's the bigger building? Well, there we go, I can have the bigger building. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, in that case, we're just going to have a little road. Like that. Picking it up perfectly. There. Um, so we now have connection in the whole city of Heerlen, which is lovely. Then some of these houses have had it as well as a result of my megalomanious approach to track and station building. Um, I'm not going to worry about the uh, level crossings here. Again, if I do want to get worried about that, I'll do it later when I have a bit, a bit more time and money. Too much slope. You know, I just said I wasn't going to worry about the level crossings. And now you're telling me there will be too much slope. Are you yanking my chain right now? No, I'm not. I'm going to be mean to you. Okay. Good. Not so good. I do want a connection. You know what? I am just going to build a road back in there. I have to make sure it's a road rail, not a road rail. I was going to say, I'm sure the road came from there, so it should fit. Right. That's one. Right, so that station is now plumbed in. Um, and it's not going to be built, so we can run the clock again. That cost me a sweet load of money. And then we're going to... Uh, yes. It has to happen. Uh, another too much slope situation? Are you having me on? Are you genuinely saying... Uh, yes, I am genuinely saying that this little road is causing me problems. Yes, okay. Good, then it can go. Um, and there's not too much slope there, because why would there be? Okay, good. It's because the station is so close to the road. Anyway, that's that done. I'm not going to continue to Zandstad, but I am going to continue connecting here. I'm going to take a smidge of here. And then we are going to wallop the road as nicely as possible. It's not a road, it's a track. Yes, I know. Uh, it's going to arrive here without any uh, problems. Problems, problems. Make this a bit quicker. There. Good. So we now have a, actually a closed loop, right? Because even though... Yeah, no, it doesn't even extend. So we need to make sure that we can get a train on that track. Which we can do. We don't need to worry about uh, the traffic onto this platform yet, because this is probably the last connection David is going to get added. Unless I add in Ost, but that's for the future. Um, so we have a train connected, a railway connected, and it doesn't have any issues in terms of where it needs to go and how it needs to get there, but it might have issues. Uh, no, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to bother with that. The reason I'm doing that is to make sure it doesn't interfere with the rest of the passenger trains. But it shouldn't do. It shouldn't do. I could, of course, I've now got the Boomel and Boomel Tjur connecting here on this platform um, and I could have moved one to the other platform but we're going to keep that for here because I think that's going to be quite an important train and um, we need to 
think about what we put on that line though and some of you will already know what's coming I think well, I know what's coming I might not communicate it very clearly but I have definitely got a plan um, that's going to be blue and well we've got boomel, boobeltje and now we're going to have uh, hummel because we're going to hear them and hummel is uh, a word we use in Frisian and I think in Dutch as well to indicate a little boy I know I'm so creative it is astonishing right we need to build a train oh it's going to be pretty yes we've got a 120 uh, car thingy that is good news isn't it yes I wish we had a train that could do oh we've got a train that can do 120 as well what a magnificent coincidence yeah <laughs> 60 capacity for 10 and a half million it's not cheap but it is mine so we need 10 and a half million we're literally down to zero basically one two three one one eight nine ten Ooh, and a half okay click buy oh has it ticked down no it's literally ah oh, that's fine we'll give it a second there we go We'll give it a second boom from 10 and a half to 12 and a half because this is a profitable enterprise are we going to paint him hummel colors yes we are yes um, and then we are going to assign it to hummel unable to find path to stop because i'm stupid and i do not understand that all i have to do is go up here and then back okay In that case, you can go up there and then come back and be reassigned. Now, this Irish standoff is going to happen here. I don't know what an Irish standoff is. Ah, okay, good. The little tinkler has to right away, but look at the difference in size. But, oh. Uh, uh, anyway, look at the difference in size. I've got two signals there. Go on. Why did I have these signals here? I can't remember. Oh, we got rid of them. Oh, I can remember. It's literally to do for what we had just, what we've just seen. But well, stop that from happening. Yes. Okay. We will do that. A cameo appearance by my lovely wife. Hi, flowers. Your internet still working? Uh, um, no, what? Go, go, just go forward. Go, oh, go backwards, you naughty. Right. Good, you go. Oh, look, you're on the main line. Interestingly, that means that you could actually go on a different line. How do you feel about the opportunity that we are providing you? We're going to heal them. Yeah, that's great. Oh, good. I'm very excited about this opportunity. Anyway, before all that kerfuffle, um, I was saying that this train is twice the length of the old boomeltje. Um, and it doesn't even carry that many more passengers, but it looks a hell of a lot better. I mean, look at the difference. You can't really see it there. Oh, 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 opportunity very slowly now one of the problems we have is that the flying scotsman is bloody quick it's already doing 70 whereas the train one is doing 49 now, remember now that you can't see it there you go there's the scotsman ah yes uh, there's a big hill here no there's not a big hill you're just not good enough and this is the new locomotive as well i just realized hmm. Anyway, uh, to be fair, the flying, to the Flying Scotsman, he did have a running start at it. Um, and there it is. Oh, oh beautiful. Such a gorgeous train. I really love the Flying Scotsman. 
I don't know how it's very different from all the other locomotives in the game. Um, other than that, it's got a really cool name and I love Scotland, so take that. Do with that what you will. Did I build a huge fire dog? I did, didn't I? I wasn't paying attention, was it? No, no, no. You weren't paying attention and now you built a 90 km an hour fire duct for half the flipping route that you are on. Well, that's got to go. Yes, that's got to go. Because I'm not having a 120 km an hour train doing 90 km an hour because I have a multi. I mean, I like the, the, the view and the look of the fire duct, but this main road bumbling over it doesn't help. Why does that not go under if I've got a bloody fire duct anyway? So, yes. Questions were asked. Mm -hmm. I'm not even getting a refund. <laughs> oh, yes. Right, okay. I don't object technically. To having a what? To having a fire. You know that's that's not the problem. The problem is it being 90, I think. Is that what I'm saying? I think that's what I'm saying. And it does come over a hill. Construction not possible. Excuse me? What's not possible? Did I start in the wrong place? Yes. I'm such a talented builder. Boom. But it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be modern and 1935-ish because we've just updated all this stuff. Yes, that's good. And then guess what, Road? You're gonna go under because I have to connect you because you're a main line and you're gonna moan at me for no apparent reason. Uh, I, I don't want to go under. Yes, you do. There you go. There we go. I fixed the issue at great expense. Okay. Um, good. So Hummel to Heerlen is go. Uh, Heerlen has only got nine. Why is this called Annex? Because something else has claimed the name. Okay. I will have to change that at some point. Um, Heerlen is connected to the wonderful new network with the most gorgeous passenger train on the planet. And that is all good. And look at how much money we've already made. So we can start paying off that loan. 10 million is a decent figure. It's going to come down. And um, yeah, so excitement, excitement. We have liftoff. Try to find a nice angle. Yeah, like that. Oh, look at it. Mm -mm -mm. So this is the start of a new adventure. Repay, repay, repay. I'm obsessed with repaying that debt. Um, of a new adventure because we are now opening up our existing network to a whole wide new world. The next episode we're probably going to connect to Zandstad. And then we're also going to connect to Rumont maybe. Um, I see that Sandstad wants things that we make, so that's useful. Um, we could connect to Hilversum as well. All sorts of options. I will make a decision at some point. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, my name is Dr. Klumber, and if you didn't enjoy it, then... Uh, I don't care! I don't want to know! Um, no, I, I do want to know. Let me know what you thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god, Tim, your exits are so bad. Oh, Shut up, Barrow.